Airplanes need to be durable to withstand the wear and tear of frequent flying and the dangers of landing on rugged airstrips. Most small airplanes are made with aluminum because it's both sturdy and lightweight. Some aluminum aircraft are twin engines, meaning they have a propeller on each wing. Single engine models like this one have one propeller, typically on the nose. This airplane also has a pressurized cabin, so it can reach an altitude of about 30,000 feet. It also has a de-icing system for the wings, tail, and propeller blades, so it can fly safely in cold, wet conditions. The aluminum is delivered to the factory in long rolls. They unwind each roll and feed the aluminum through a series of heavy rollers to press out the curl. A blade at the end of the machine automatically slices the flat aluminum into smaller pieces. The thickness of the aluminum varies depending on the part they're making. They use a three millimeter sheet of aluminum to make the cockpit instrument panel. A computer guided mill cuts the profile, drills screw holes for installation, and cuts all the openings for the instrumentation. The sheet goes from this to this. A computer-guided router cuts out most of the wing components. Workers feed it between machine rollers that slowly bend it to a specific angle. Once the bend is complete, they use templates to check both sides and make sure it meets specifications. During production, residue from the factory machines contaminate the aluminum pieces. So once all the parts are created, they are thoroughly cleaned. The machine washes them in soapy water twice and then rinses them off. Once the parts are clean, the machine submerges them in an acid bath. This preps the surface for a coat of protective primer. Once it's primed, workers clean the surface with solvent. Then they lay the part on a sheet of epoxy adhesive and cut along the perimeter to create an adhesive backing. Later, they'll activate the adhesive with heat and pressure. Once all the parts have their custom cut adhesive, workers assemble them on a bonding fixture. Metal clamps hold the parts in position. This assembly is the internal structure of the wing's leading edge. The long pieces are called stringers. They're clamped to oval access panels that enable maintenance technicians to get inside the wing. Next, workers position and clamp the skin of the leading edge on top of the internal wing structure. They heat the entire assembly in an oven for two hours at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. This activates the adhesive and bonds all the assembled parts together. Meanwhile, another team assembles the aluminum frame of the airplane's fuselage section. They load the parts onto an assembly fixture and rivet them together. 
When we return, they'll apply an aluminum cover to the frame. 